And Tuesday could be a great day to take your lunch outside. The American Diabetes Association encouraging everyone to make a healthy lunch on Tuesday. A healthy lunch is good. It is National Healthy Lunch Day. Recently, I got a lesson on just how easy it is for you to make a nutritious lunch. Well, we're here in Littleton at the Club at Ravina, and Executive Chef Christopher Moore joins me here. Christopher, we want to let everybody know what makes a great lunch. A uh, great lunch, healthy lunch. Uh, Fresh ingredients, a lot of vegetables, uh, and avoiding processed foods, and some things are quick, easy, and light and fresh. Uh, tortilla, this is a chicken takeaway Thai tortilla wrap, mm -hmm. which I'm gonna have you cut some sky in real quick. I'm gonna put a little bit of Thai dressing down here to start. And this is an easy thing to make. This is very easy. You can do this in the morning before you, uh, before you go to work. Enough here, these, uh, uh, you can, if you wanna go a little bit smaller, you can. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. We'll take some cooked chicken, put it in there. Uh, some mung bean sprouts, throw your, put your scallions in here if you okay. like. Now the recipe on the ADA website calls for, uh, calls for scallion. I like to use a little bit of radish, gives a little extra crunch. That's beautiful. And then you okay. just wrap that just, baby up and take it to work or wherever you need to go, right? Bunch of cilantro in there. Yeah. So, and a uh, healthy lunch is important for everybody, not just those with diabetes, right? It is, it yeah. is important, especially if, you know, if you're working in office or wherever you're working, uh, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, that's going to really impact your energy level throughout the day. Um, and, I, and I'm speaking from experience, a lot of, veg, a lot of veggies, health, you know, a lot of salad, not a lot of salad, but vegetables, fruits, natural things, um, unprocessed foods are always best because it helps keep your energy level up and helps keep your, uh, your metabolism up. Now this next thing, we're not going to have much time to make it, but what do you have there? And what, what so this is a, if you want to pass me that bowl, I'll put it together okay, real beautiful. quick. Let's do it. So this is a white bean and couscous salad. So white beans, cooked pearled couscous, it wants to come out of there. Uh, tomatoes, onion, cucumber, fresh basil. Uh, this is a little bit of green olive. Beautiful. And we'll add a little bit of olive oil in there. You put the vinegar in there. And this is the vinegar here. Yep. And you just throw that in there. Put it in there, and it just up. gets mixed up. So for those of us that are afraid to make something that has a fancy name like this does, what's the name of it again? It's a, it's a white bean and couscous salad. Uh, that, would be, that would be scary for me. It's really easy to make, right? It's we very easy to make. Quickly here. All right, well, Christopher, thank there you, you so much. That looks delicious here in presentation. Remember is the key that makes it not only healthy, but tastes good, right? Absolutely. All right. So eat a healthy lunch. <laughs> and we also made a Caesar salad, but uh, we made so many things, uh, we ran out of time there. The ADA's National Healthy Lunch Day is this Tuesday. For tips and recipes, go to cbsdenver.com. Yeah, and you can have a healthy lunch every day if you go there. It's yeah. a good idea. Mm -hmm. As a